In this video, I'm going to be creating a retro style character based off of unused concept art for Mega Man Legends 2. Starting off with a really chunky circle, I'm going to rough out the shape for the helmet piece. Normally I like to rough out the shape first of the entire model with cubes, but this time I just decided to go right in and start modeling the face. It's really important to simplify, and what I'm going for here is more of a NPC character from Mega Man Legends 1, so it's going to have a very low poly count in the end. For the early PlayStation models, I usually like to think about them as paper models, because what you have is a lot of cubes with really nice pixel art on them. So the head is going to be the most complicated part of the model. So what I like to do is have a bunch of references from the game that I'm looking to replicate the style of in my other monitor. If you want to enhance the low poly aesthetic, use tries. So I'm turning this cube into more of a cylindrical shape, and this is a technique I see on a lot of old models. So I'm making the dress and the rest of the body all as one piece. And I'm going upon the assumption that this model really wouldn't have had a wide range of movement, otherwise we would have to set this up differently and maybe that's something I'll explore in a future video. I love the concept art for Mega Man Legends, and I especially like that some of the characters have these like noodle arms. It was a little tricky to place the feet here, so I kind of had to think it through and move things around a bit. A lot of 3D modeling is just creative problem solving and moving things around until they look nice. The texturing is really important, and what I like to do is cut everything so I can get it as flat as possible, and I can reuse as many textures and colors on the texture map as I can. And that'll give us an opportunity to really drive in the retro style because we can fit everything on a smaller kind of pixel art texture size. So I'm using a 256 by 256 texture, and I projected the face instead of unwrapping it. And this will create a little stretching on the texture, but that's okay because a lot of those old models have that anyway.
Normally I'd redraw the texture from scratch, but I just decided to copy the eye and then kind of rework it a little bit from the actual concept art. So my current process for texturing low poly models is I'll fill out blobs of color in Blender, and then I'll take the image into GIMP and start doing pixel art. So I have to bounce between two programs, but it makes it a lot easier for me in the long run. Again, looking at references is really important for things like the hands, so you can get more of a feel for the style that you're trying to mimic. Of course, if you're trying to get a different style, then you can just kind of expand on what you see in the references that you're looking at.
So here I'm just kind of refining everything and making sure everything looks nice and has you know, a color filled in because some of these areas, like the bottom of the dress, are not important because we're probably not going to see them. So here's the final model, and I think it turned out pretty good. Uh, if you have a suggestion for more concept art I could turn into a model, uh, let me know in the comments below, and thank you for watching.